Assalamu alaikum. Some of the misconceptions that some people have pertaining to establishing a secret with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is they, they associate having a secret with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with worldly gains or worldly appearance. So if you are able to wow them with anything, it could be with fame, it could be with wealth, it could be with richness, it could be with, then they will ask you, what's your secret? What's the secret between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? It's just like how uh, they make worldly uh, assessment and evaluation, the secret to success, the secret to making the, your first million, the secret to, to, to uh, making your first million subscribers on YouTube, the secret to this, the secret to that, all with worldly measurements. Establishing a secret with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not like that. So we don't just see someone having the ability to attract crowd and we say, wow, this fellow must have a secret with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We don't see someone, uh, mashallah, making a, a billion dollar in a sh very short time and say, mashallah, this person must have a secret with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We don't see someone making any kind of worldly success and then we say, wow, this fellow must have a secret with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A secret with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala must make you close to him, must make your dua answered by him in uh, desperate situations, more than just in any normal situation. A secret with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala must grant you easy access to Jannah. Sayyiduna Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu anhu is one of those with secret with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Sayyiduna Uwais al-Qarni is one of those with secret with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and many others. Now, what if someone's secret with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gets exposed or it, it is leaked? Let's discuss that in the next. Until then, see you and see you in Jannah. Wassalamu alaikum.